The Meridian Freedom Project honored the lives of James Cheney, Michael Schroener, and Andrew Goodman this morning on the 58th anniversary of their deaths. The Meridian Freedom Project uh, hosted the third, third annual moral, uh, memorial downtown on the fifth street, on the corner of Fifth Street and 25th Avenue. The Meridian Freedom Project Fellows pay tribute to James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwerner when they gave the ultimate sacrifice fighting for freedom in Neshoba County. Remember that they made a change, honestly, because this in Mississippi that was probably one of the biggest, probably one of the biggest things that ever happened. And just keep them, just keep them on your mind that that they fought and that they knew they knew what was going to happen, but they even fought to try to still, to still make a change. Allegedly, the three civil rights workers were turned over to the KKK after being detained by the Neshoba Sheriff's Department, while the three investigated the burning of the Mount Zion Church in the Longdale community in 1964. Another fellow wanted to thank the three for their bravery that paved the way for him. It's a good program. We, we, it help us learn more about our black kids in our community, and we can help other kids learn more about it and help our community. I would thank them for their efforts because you see me now and I'm free. A Millsaps College student interning with the project said the program has taught him a lot. If they were thinking about coming to teach, just I would tell them to be ready to learn, honestly, because they're, the fellows will literally do all the teaching. It's uh, really student-led, well, fellow-led, and it's really just like a discussion. One attendee from Arkansas says learning about Cheney, Goodman, and Schwerner was empowering. I really appreciate just the Freedom Project in general. I think more like towns and cities in the South um, should encourage groups like this that, you know, build the community, especially among youth. Seeing all these kids out here singing and just being together is a really strong sense of community out here, and that's something I love about Meridian. The Meridian Freedom Project sung songs and read poems earlier this morning, even leaving behind a makeshift memorial right here. Live in downtown Meridian, Kristen Hyde, WTOK News 11.